In this video net interview at IBC 2012, I'm speaking with Julian Seniors, who's the CEO at NVVO. Hello, Julian. Hello, John. Um, we're hearing a lot about Network PVR, and your company was one of the first to start mentioning this about a year ago, I believe. And um, I mean, are we now on the point of seeing Network PVR for multi-screen services as a sort of a, a major deployment phase? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've always promoted what the concept of we call TV without boundaries, which is anytime and anywhere. Uh, we did the anywhere portion first uh, with any device support on our platforms, and now we are working on the anytime for, um, part of it, which is all the time shifting and personalization of the user experience. Is it likely that it will be one copy per person? Because we've had all these rights problems, haven't we? That's correct, and it really depends on geographies, uh, uh, contents, and rights. Uh, so our platform can scale either way, enable uh, uh, multiple copies as uh, different strategies to uh, personalize the stream uh, to a level that allows to legally uh, do the network PVR. And some people are just uh, doing replay TV, which is less complex from a legal perspective. So there's different strategies around it, and our platform is flexible enough that it can allow all of the strategies. I mean, does it make any difference from a, a network bandwidth or a processing uh, point of view, whether people watch it as a recording or live? Because I know it's unicast. Yes, well, see, it absolutely does make a difference. There's a lot of caching involved, uh, and, and as it scales, um, there's a lot of uh, edge caching and edge processing involved into making that a scalable service if everybody starts pausing and replaying uh, that content, and especially when you combine it with the uh, legal um, um, implication of, of, of the rights uh, to have a single copy. So uh, there's different strategies, and again, we can do everything from a centralized, uh, big storage uh, to uh, a very distributed system or there's a single copy per person, depending on the application and the, and the context. Okay, but is the, is the bottom line that there's no technology challenge that will hold this back? That's correct. I mean, technology-wise, um, uh, you know, we launched uh, the new Halo uh, processor with a, a, a network uh, um, uh, PVR, a network storage, and uh, replay TV capacity. Um, and, and so um, from that standpoint, we are ready to, to deploy it, and, and the ecosystem is kind of mature. Okay, now I know we've been talking for a long time about scalability generally being a, the sort of big challenge. Would you say that it's still the big challenge for IB, uh, at IBC 2012? Well, I think scalability of the projects themselves, and they, they don't, some of them have not scaled for different reasons. Uh, some of them are content rights issues, uh, some of them are still uh, global network footprint issues, storage uh, footprint. Um, I would say the technology has evolved and we certainly need our goal to make it simple to do this TV anytime, anywhere. Um, and so we think it's uh, fairly mature now and we've scaled very large projects. Uh, but, but obviously it's always a concern, but I wouldn't say it's only because of technology. Sometimes it's just you know, people having the rights to do everything that they want to do. Okay, and you, you announced at the show the forecast uh, fourth generation. That's correct. Which is, uh, I think, six times the density of your own previous platform. So That's what correct. does that mean for a service provider? Well, that means um, there's more and more formats that you need to support. Many different devices, many different resolutions, codecs, different codecs, future codecs like HEVC, uh, uh, past codecs like MPEG-2, H.264, etc. different uh, uh, resolutions and, and formats. So we think it's more, it's more and more important um, to have a very dense platform. We want to be a balanced approach because if you are too dense, then you, there's a lot of problem of redundancy and cost and scalability. Um, so we, we, we are still focused on a, a one rack unit or two rack unit strategies. A G4 is a two rack unit um, with four modules and, and it increase um, uh, the density tremendously, enabling people to do TV applications as well as new screens or other screens application um, into a single um, system into a single solution. Okay, so we're not just talking about the unified head end now, we're talking about the unified uh, rack unit doing all things, HDTV right down to the mobile profiles. That is correct. And so a big strategy around this is um, uh, is to go uh, two ways. One is you know the multi-screen providers that just want to extend to iPad or iPhone, and they can do that. Uh, we can also go see the TV providers that want to just have a more uh, a dense, um, uh, better quality head-end, and in the future, or now, uh, deploy to other devices. So we can serve both of these needs from a single scalable software-based platform. Okay, now I must just ask you about um, MPEG Dash and also HEVC because obviously sure. they're becoming very prominent at this show. That's correct. Um, what impact are they going to have on this market? Well, so I think MPEG Dash is, is, is on paper a really good um, uh, format uh, that 
uh, Kenov is the mother of all formats, and uh, that's a promise of it. Um, you know, we, uh, we obviously um, um, heavily uh, support it, and we've uh, shown various demonstrations of the technology at this show and previously. Um, you know, in general, new formats, uh, people have the misconception that the new format means everything will be in this format. Uh, to me, it means that uh, um, things will be in that format as well. And so in time, it has a chance to be the major, the main formats for, for transmission, but it will be a long time uh, before that. So in the short term, we will actually see a, another expansion of formats? That, I think that's correct, yes. Okay. And how long do you think we might have uh, more before we get to less again? <laughs> um, I'm not very optimistic uh, about the convergence of formats because of how complex and the type of actors that are involved in driving that technology. Uh, you've got very large companies uh, ranging from Microsoft to Google to Apple um, to a lot of big technology players and all of them uh, have their own formats. Um, and so I think having a universal um, a solution that works everywhere um, is uh, probably a uh, utopia at this point. Um, I, I think the um, expansion of uh, multi-screen complexity will continue to, to grow for a long while. Okay, all right. Well, thank you very much for uh, explaining all that, Julian. Yes, no problem. Good talking to you again. Thank you.